This is the AMD powered ASUS ProArt PX13. It features a powerful GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and most importantly, the AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 processor, giving cutting edge AI capabilities and top tier performance when it comes to things like content creation. And today I've partnered with AMD to put this laptop to the test and see if it's capable of becoming my new daily driver. All right, here we go. We got the ASUS ProArt PX13 powered by the AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 processor here. And lately I've just been looking for a new laptop to act as my daily driver because, you know, surprise announcement, I quit my job two months ago. And when I did, I had to give up my old work laptop. So I've kind of been laptopless. So I am pretty excited to try this out because I have been in need of a laptop that can handle all of my creative projects. And one, this is a pro art laptop and just pro art things are great for creators. And two, the AMD Ryzen AI processor that's in here is going to put in some work. From what I've seen online, it's one of the best processors that are in Windows laptops. And for editing, I'm definitely going to need that. And while this is a sponsored video, I do want to clarify that all my thoughts and opinions 100% my own. Speaking of thoughts and opinions, here's some quick first impressions I have with this laptop. I really do like the slick nano black design. I think it looks really clean and even though it's got the metallic black look, I don't think the fingerprints are that bad. Yes, they do show up still, but they're not as bad as some other laptops out there in my opinion. It is also just an insanely light laptop, which we'll get more into later, but it is definitely going to be an easy laptop to travel around with. And the most important part is that you can open it with one hand the little things. To kick things off, we're starting with a 100% full battery. I am going to use this for as long as I can today until I do need to charge it, but the first tasks of my day shouldn't be too heavy, especially with the Ryzen AI automatically reducing CPU and GPU usage for these lighter activities. I'm starting the day responding to emails, doing some inbox management. These are typically low level tasks and don't take insanely long to do. Okay, I just finished going through all my emails and kind of just doing some inbox management, but now I got a couple of videos I want to film, one of them being tearing down my gaming setup, RIP. And the second video is just about a quick video I wanted to make on my car. Should you buy a Tesla in 2024? So I'm gonna get those planned out and then we can move on to filming. The keyboard layout is your standard layout, but now has the new Copilot Plus button. And if you're someone who cares about the typing experience, it's nice and quiet. What's nice is that this laptop is a convertible. So when filming, I can throw it into tablet mode and go through my script or shot list using the touchscreen, which I found to be pretty handy. Now, but if I did buy a new entry branch, is what I would do differently. All right, I just finished shooting the A-roll for video number one. Now, before we go on to video number two, quick battery check. We started the day at 10 a.m. and it's 12.20 now. And we're sitting at 86%. And that's just from going through emails, writing scripts, and putting the laptop in tablet mode. But once we start getting into the editing process, I'm sure we'll see a lot more battery drainage. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on video number two. Okay, I just finished filming video number two, which was about tearing down this gaming setup. RIP, it's gone. Well, kind of, it's all right here. Now, before I jump into editing, I just got a 3D printer and I have been obsessed with 3D printing things. I just got more filament in the mail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send a print over to the printer and while that runs, it's gonna be pretty loud in that room. So that's kind of gonna force me to go edit somewhere else. I haven't been using it since I've been filming, but the battery, the battery is at 83%. I know I just started 3D printing and I haven't dived into 3D modeling stuff yet, but when I do, I know that this laptop will handle it like a champ because of the strong multi-core performance from the Ryzen AI9 HX370. Also with the printer running and making noise, now is probably the perfect time to move somewhere quieter. Perfect time for a lunch break actually. The compact design of this laptop makes it so easy to move around with and take it anywhere. And in true iPad kid fashion, we gotta watch something while we eat. The 2.8K OLED display is nice and bright, great for watching content, and it's even better when we get into some editing. Okay, after setting up the 3D printer and getting that going and eating a quick lunch, we are sitting at 
64%. We're finally getting into some video editing. It's 2.54 right now. I'm gonna give myself about an hour to edit because I know Britt wants to go to the gym soon. And the first thing I need to do is offload all of the footage. A gripe I do have with this laptop is that the SD card slot is a micro SD card slot where I wish it was just a standard SD card slot. But instead, I'm just gonna have to get a dongle. It's such a minor issue, but it would just be much more convenient personally if it was a standard SD card size. But the goal is offload the footage that would on to Premiere and try to get a video out as fast as I possibly can. So this is where this laptop stands out the most. Like I mentioned, the device has a 2.8K display, but it also has a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. That means we're getting vibrant and accurate colors that are ideal for video editing, color grading, and basically any other creative projects. There's also the dial pad, which is like a creative control wheel. I used it to zoom in and out of my Premiere timeline, but you can customize it to your workflow's needs. And when it comes to actual performance, this laptop delivers. I was able to edit this multi-layer project that contains 4K footage, adjustment layers, music, and subtitles with no issues at all. Ryzen AI fine-tunes the power between the CPU and GPU during more demanding tasks like playback and rendering, and just making sure it's consistently delivering a smooth performance. After about an hour of editing, the battery dropped from 64% to 19%, so I did end up plugging in the charger. But when I did, it charged back up pretty fast. Those AI accelerated experiences like auto captions in Adobe Premiere are also noticeably faster and make my workflow even more efficient. Plus, with a combined power of Zen 5 and Ryzen AI, rendering projects is just significantly faster. All right, so I'm getting that video posted that I just finished editing. To kind of recap the whole editing experience, the laptop did great. Editing 4K footage with multiple layers and color grading and subtitles, music. There was like little to no stuttering. There wasn't any lag on playback. It was actually really great. The only downside was the battery draining, but once I plugged it in, it charged up quick. Like we're already back at 85%, which is pretty crazy. But I'm gonna plug it back in so it could get to 100%. We're gonna go to the gym real quick, and by the time we get home, I'm gonna try out some gaming. Oh. Also, the print finished. Oh, yo, this is so sick. All right, let's get this thing plugged in. I'm gonna head to the gym. To end off the night, what better game to try than Cyberpunk? I played for about an hour and a half, averaging about 40 to 50 FPS, which, I mean, to me, wasn't bad. The display is only 60 hertz, so even if I did get let's say higher FPS, I would only be able to see 60 anyway. I do wish it was a bit higher though, like even 90 would have been nice, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal to me. Just finished up a little bit of some light gaming. Played Cyberpunk for about an hour and a half, and the battery is sitting at 21%. Now, it probably doesn't help that I was playing on my couch with a blanket underneath and it just heating up a lot. That's probably why it drained a lot faster than usual. But I mean, the game ran pretty fine. We weren't getting like high frame rates. We were getting about 40 to 50. But even if I could get like 120 FPS, it doesn't really matter because the display is at 60 hertz anyway. I think if you were to do some light gaming, you would be perfectly fine with this. But it is 11.34 PM, which means the day is coming to an end. I am going to go to bed. I am tired. So will the PX13 be my new daily driver? Honestly, it just might because this checks off pretty much all of the boxes for me. It's lightweight and portable, high resolution OLED display, solid battery life, and high end specs. The Ryzen AI9 HX370 processor will supercharge all your creative endeavors. With AI enhanced creative features, military grade toughness, and a long lasting battery, ProArt PX13 transforms any setting into your own studio. I think a single day test though definitely isn't enough. I kind of want to try like a 30 day test for this. So if that's something you guys are interested, let me know down below. Whether you're looking for future ready solutions in gaming, content creation, productivity, or professional applications, an AMD Ryzen AI laptop or desktop is the ultimate solution. If you want to check out this laptop, check out the link in the description. And thanks again to AMD for sponsoring this video.